file this one under Urban Suzume Bachi Encounter. This used to be all tea fields up here a long time ago when my wife was a girl. She used to tell me this is just all tea fields. Um, and uh, this right here is an old tea plant. You know, they basically they tore down all the tea fields and replaced stuff. And the, uh, this tea plant here, and I know well enough that uh, Suzume Bachis like to visit these flowers right here, this, these tea flowers. This, you know, it's been shaped like a shrub. There's more over here as well. That, well, that one's different. These flowers right here, the, the Suzume Bachi love, the Jays and Giant Hornet love those flowers in the autumn because they, they bloom now and they're out and I watch, I'm always careful when I'm hiking to when I come across old deserted tea farms to watch out in the, in the autumn because the Suzume Bachi are all over the place on these things. And I'm just going along now on my iPhone and I was walking along, I had the earphones in my hand, listening to music, and I stopped right here to do, do something on the phone, right next to it. I didn't realize it was tea because it's, you know, it was the ornamental thing. I didn't think about it. And there was a Suzume Bachi on the flower right there. I didn't see it. And suddenly I'm just standing here looking at my iPhone and this big thing comes up and I couldn't hear it because I had the earphones in it. And I only saw it in the, just as I'm doing now, I saw it in the iPhone's <laughs> come up right there next to my head. Wow, so much. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I didn't really run off. I darted off, like, and it followed me. It wasn't really, really aggressive, but it followed me all the way up to about here, and then kind of gave up the curiosity. I think it was more curious than aggressive. But this is the maybe it's my Hawaiian shirt. You know, it was a, you know, it, it doesn't like the Suzume Bachi are going crazy in the autumn, and they don't like the uh, dark colors, and I guess the Aloha print pattern doesn't make them as mad. Maybe it made them a little festive. Maybe it made them a little nostalgic for the uh, the days of summer that have gone past, for their dead queen that they've murdered, and and, and for the rampage that will soon uh, undergo amongst the, the sisters as they as they vie for uh, for mad mad dominance amongst the tribe. I don't know if it's dominance or if it's just simply simply the madness that requires them to kill one another so that they'll uh, make way for the, uh, the the next generation of of killers for next year. There you go. Speaking of killers, look, a Tyrannosaurus. Bye.